What's up everybody? This is Vincent Zung, the Wandering Warrior. I'm back in Boston for now after having been on tour at four different locations in the USA uh, spreading Shui Jiao the Mongol way, being the professional yuke and coaching assistant for my wrestling brother Lavelle Marshall, also known as American Hungai. Uh, he's devoted his life to Shui Jiao and for the last five or six years to Mongol Bok, Mongolian wrestling out in Inner Mongolia of China. And as you guys have seen, I've visited him, I've gone there, trained, competed, got thrown dozens of times, got better every fucking time, right? And that's what it's all about. So we decided that we would tour the USA, bringing the art of Shui Jiao, the Mongol way, Chinese wrestling with that Mongolian flair to fellow Americans and giving people an opportunity to really feel what that's all about and understand the concepts and the attributes that help make them such dominant grapplers. It was an amazing experience and I'll share my thoughts on my role in this journey, in this tour, in this video. Enjoy. Just techniques. I'm trying to make you guys understand the culture. It's like what my teacher said, uh, the one in uh, Cuba, he passed away last year. He said, uh, we were talking about how to teach foreigners. And he was like, hmm, they can't get good at both unless they know the lifestyle. You can learn techniques. There's a difference between you learning Mongolian wrestling techniques and you wrestling like a Mongolian. See, what you gotta do when you watch the videos, you say, I wanna wrestle like him. Right? You're not just looking at it. Everyone has their style in both. But you wanna take your time as much as possible because you wanna get loose. You wanna feel them. Everything is about small adjustments. So when I when I hold you, even with side job, and I grab this jacket, right? I need to know how to put the weight here. If he shifts up, let's say you stand up, okay, I had to put it here. Because it So down in Raleigh, North Carolina, we had a three day wrestling training camp. Shui Jiao, the Mongol Way, and some Mongol Boch, Mongolian wrestling as well. It was a mixture of warm-ups, storytelling, cultural immersion and context, hard training, sparring, drilling, tactical concepts of wrestling, all of that good stuff. I must say it was a pleasure meeting Sufu Imari, who hosted us at her location and was a super hospitable person. Greatly appreciate her and her efforts. If you're down in the Carolinas, I would definitely recommend you check out the North Carolina sumo group. They were a really bunch of nice guys who had some good skills going on. And of course, East Cloud Kung Fu, where, you know, we had our training camp. Uh, it's a great environment there. And I must say, it was a pleasure meeting Sensei Seth in person, uh, seeing him work through these moves. And uh, I must say, he's got a, got a lot of potential as a, as a wrestler, not just as a sumo wrestler, but as a wrestler and fighter overall. One of the cool things that we did on this particular tour was we had Lavelle, or American Hungai, go ahead and tell a lot of stories about his experiences in the past five to six years, immersing himself in the wrestling culture of China's inner Mongolia. And I could see just how it was captivating the crowd and really helping them to better understand the context and the concepts behind Mongolian and Chinese wrestling. And so that was a really powerful aspect. And 
also gave everybody a little bit of a breather. So they weren't, you know, completely killing themselves to the point of exhaustion. And for me personally, outside of my professional role as the demo partner or uke in Japanese, the one receiving all the techniques uh, and, you know, managing the people in the room, making sure everyone was doing well, getting them on track and so on and so forth. My personal goal was to spar with a whole bunch of people, especially those I could gain something from. And some of these were people I had met in the past, such as Jamie Nottingham or Daniel Colindres. And some of these were new people and new bodies and new skill sets that I had to get myself accustomed to. Uh, it was a good time for me to start working through some of the things that I had gotten from the last Nottingham season of this year and started to integrate, but needed more bodies, needed more people to integrate it. 69 was the first time it was ever written in Shalom uh, uh, Blue Banner. There was a Nadam and the prince wrote Changa uh, Shin. Like, so he, I guess they, that's the first time it was written about. So that's, what, that's the evidence we have when it was first mentioned, okay? And uh, the, the uh, Bull and Bear wrestlers, they like, oh, well, we real, we don't have no mentoring influence type of thing, right? So there's always beef between, between the regions. But they still, it looks the same now. What's in the back? Hey, everybody, this side of the road. This side of the road, let's go. Everybody over 80 kg in the back. It was a great three days, and I think everyone got a lot out of it. And at the very end of it, Lavelle Marshall and I led everyone through a mock Nottingham just so that they could get a taste of what the real thing might be like. When we can bring our teacher, Ubags, out to the USA, we would love to host a real one. Um, in any case, looking forward to doing it bigger and better. And we were exhausted at the end of this. I mean, Lavelle was still jet lagged. We were just doing three days straight of intensive uh, wrestling training for everybody, but it was a good time. On a personal note, I got to meet some people that told me that they were truly inspired by my journey, and that was really touching for me. You know, I don't, uh, I don't celebrate myself much, and uh, it was amazing to see people and meet people who were touched and inspired by me. Um, I also had some amazing conversations and insights from people such as Blake Brown, Dr. Alex Hui, Jamie Nottingham, Imari uh, of East Cloud Kung Fu, Sanja. Sensei Seth, Daniel Colindres, Jared Falk of North Carolina Sumo, uh, among others, about the martial arts, about philosophy, spirituality, life, business, and so much more. So thank you all so much. I mean, Lavelle and I are trying to build a bridge between two worlds. And when you build a bridge, it needs to go somewhere. At least for North Carolina, that was you guys. So again, thank you. And also a shout out to Gene Kim. It's a great guy. I just met him for the first time in North Carolina, but he followed us around in North Carolina as well as in our next destination, Swedesboro, New Jersey, and captured a lot of this footage and photography. So, shout out to him. Like, if you have the belt, just hang on to the belt. If I'm stretching over here, just hang here. Really relax this. Now it's, not, now it's nothing. You can stand there for a while. It looks kind of weird, but. For instance, what we just talked about wheeling. If I turn him, and I just do this, there's no, there's no, I don't continue the pressure, right? I need to make sure this goes down, this goes across, let's say the data, right? And I'm pressing this, I'm a punch down. And even if he's stumbling out, I'm keeping pressure. I don't stop until he's the same. A big thank you to everyone who came out to Swedesboro MMA for our seminar. And also, thank you to Chris Masari for setting us up and hosting us. Greatly appreciate it, man. It was a good time. Next stop was Boston. We did our seminar at Redline Fight Sports in Cambridge, right by Central. It was a good time. We got a decent turnout considering the small Shuaijiao community in the area. And all in all, I think everyone got quite a bit out of it. Took a day to rest, and then we were off to San Diego.
You guys know how to play with your partner. Competition is different. Competition is different. I don't care. Yeah, I'm good. Competition is different. I'm good. Right? I don't let him even do nothing. Fuck out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. But, training work. I let him work. Yes. Yeah, cool. There we go. There we go. I way more, but I'm gonna let you feel. I'm gonna tell you what it's real. You know? Remember, you gotta make yourself. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, that's what And then I, I did a technique on him, but it wasn't nice, right? But it's the match, right? And everyone's like, oh god, they're laughing. Like, why you do that to your boy? Why you do that to your boy? But it's like, it's like for fun. But it's not that serious, right? But because of that, they can relax more. Old man looking at me, smiling for about three hours. I was like, why is this old man looking at me? Now he was like this, right next to me. Can we pass him on? And I, I was staring at him, I was like, and then he gets closer, he gets closer, and he sits right next to me. He says, he's looking at me. And then he says, oh wow, what kind of Mongolian are you speaking? I never heard of that Mongolian before. I'm like, is think, think about it. Is there something that you guys really want to work on? It could be something simple as turning your shoulders more, it could be simple as gripping. It, it can be your own thing, or something thing. That you personally want to, to ask. Yeah. yeah. I'm just a grippy work with them will be in front of each mother. Oh, you want to go thick. Yes. I, this is something I was just talking about last week. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you. 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 Yeah, you can see the issue is with this technique. You know, I'm getting knew- quite exhausted by now, but you know, San Diego was a good time. And I do want to give a shout out to JJ of Hanu Sumo, Hanu Jiu Jitsu for letting us in, giving us a place to do what we do best and giving us all an opportunity to immerse in the context and the stories and the skills, the concepts, the techniques, the tactics of Shuajiao, the Mongol way. It was an awesome weekend intensive four hours each day, Saturday and Sunday in wonderful San Diego. I got to meet awesome people. I got to sharpen my own game against a whole variety of different grapplers. And last but not least, I met Renato Migliaccio of Sampa BJJ LA, uh, a veteran of grappling, an amazing guy. And uh, although I was losing to him in sparring, I was so glad that he would share with me his tactics and his strategies that he was using against me. Thank you so much, Professor. And of course, just feeling overall grateful to be part of this journey with Lavelle Marshall, getting some tips from him. I've got a lot to work on, but uh, I'm feeling good. Hope you guys enjoyed that overview of my life for the last week and a half. Uh, It was a great time. I'm exhausted and I need to get my mind right. In two weeks, I'm leaving for China. I'll be at the Baoding City uh, World Shui Jiao Tournament and I'll be back to training Mongolian wrestling with the professional team. Rough times ahead for my body, mind, and spirit, but I'm looking forward to it. In any case, thank you guys for joining me on my journey. I salute yours.